This is Degaris MPC, Math, Physics, Computing, 130 plus courses at Masters and PhD level in Pure Mathematics and Mathematical Physics. This is course number four, so MPC four, in Linear Algebra, uh, Junior and Senior level course. This is lecture number one session BB and in fact this will be the last session for chapter one or lecture one I mean one lecture one chapter one chapter one lecture okay so what uh, in the previous towards the end of the previous session we were talking about hyperplanes and and their equations and in this session, uh, we introduce a new concept of the, the so-called normal. Uh, now, ima imagine my, my hand here is a plane or a hyperplane, say an n-dimensional space. So here's a plane, a flat, a flat surface. Now, the normal is a vector that's perpendicular to the surface. So, so any any angle, you, like in in th a three-dimensional space, and so you've got a, a plane here in 3D space, and any angle you'd like to take from here to, you know, wh whichever, uh, always be 90 degrees. Like so, this this uh, vector here points out uh, directly from the flat surface. It, it, it looks it it lo it looks like that. So this this vector here is called the normal so uh, so normal there is the noun but you can also say that this vector is normal to this plane so in that sense it's an adjective so the the word normal can be both a noun and an adjective okay but the, the basic concept is uh, you know, in, in ordinary 3d space it's easily visualized here my hand here my palm is uh, a flat surface, in other words, a plane, and this vector sticking out of it is the normal to this surface, this 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 plane. Okay, so that's that's the concept we're introducing uh, to this uh, in this session, and, and another. So um, again, this may seem rather intuitive in uh, 3D space, but we can generalize it to n-dimensional space. Uh, this, this normal here, say, say we have a, li a line segment in, in this plane. So you say here's your P and here's your Q. So, you, so my, fing my finger here, that's your direct line segment or arrow or vector if you like, that, that lies in the plane. So, so can you see, now th this vector here, I, I can move it to, to, to like that in the surface. Now, can you see that this this um, lines directed line segment, this this arrow, this vector that lies in the plane of this uh, my palm? Can you see it's ninety degrees to this normal? So therefore, if you remember earlier theory, the dot product of these two vectors, this one, the normal. And any uh, directed line segment, you know, arrow, vector, in the plane, uh, that dot product will be zero. In, in other words, this vector dotted with this vector, with a normal, uh, is orthogonal because, because of zero. Um, so this, this vector lying in the plane, any vector lying in the plane will be orthogonal to the normal. Right, uh, in 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 three dimensional space, that's easy easy to see. You can you can yeah, <laughs> you can just see it's like ninety degrees, right? It's uh, orthogonal. So uh, okay, so that's sort of the essence of what uh, this this is all about. And we'll actually prove it for n dimensions. Okay, so um, here in sort of more condensed form is the equation of your hyperplane, n-dimensional plane, a flat surface in n-dimensions. Uh, and it's, it's of the form 
uh, you know, C1, X1, you know, some plus C2, X2, plus uh, dot, 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 plus CN, XN. And I, I've just shortened it here to this sum form, okay? Equals uh, some constant, call it, call it B. All right, now uh, we're, going to, we're going to take these coefficients here. Now the, the, these x's, they're unknowns, they're variables, right? That, that we're trying to find solutions for these x's. But these c's here, they're given, they're fixed, they're constants. That's why we call them c's, constant. Now uh, there'll be n of them in, uh, in dimensional space. So uh, form, a vector, uh, now form a vector where the ith component of the vector is the ith coefficient. And, and now call that vector, the, it's called the coefficient vector. Uh, and it's called u here. So uh, actually it should be, it should be three bars because it's sort of by definition. So here. So you start, you start with your equation for your hyperplane, right? Which is just of the form C1, X1 plus C2, X2, blah, 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 right? Now take, take these coefficients and put them into a and they become the components of a vector and call that vector u uh, is it, I don't know. I'll put, put the little wiggle under it here so you know you know it's a vector okay um, so, so take the coefficients from your hyperplane equation that, that's this and these coefficients become the components of a vector that you call u. Okay, you may. Uh, I I need to. I've my alarm's just gone. I need to leave. I've got a, a public lecture, so I'll uh, just have to stop here and uh, resume in a in another filming. So, ciao.